got to talk about minimal thermal bridging or how do we deal with thermal bridging and in our case here this is our thermal bridge basically we're losing heat from inside the building into the ground it's minimized by having obviously um, in our case 225 millimeters of high performing polyfoam and our polystyrene but we've got to have structural stability so our thermal bridge is coped with by insulated block work this block work basically is lightweight as opposed to heavyweight above and minimizes the transfer of heat they have to be of a, a better compressive strength because they're um, carrying two storeys of wall above it and floors. Straight off the footing we've got insulation and the finished floor level will come up there. So on a standard build the insulation level would only just be below finished floor whereas we've taken it right down to the footing um, to help with thermal bridging. We've got to talk about air tightness, which is absolutely crucial for low energy uh, performance. And in our case here, we have got concrete, airtight in its own right, wet plaster on the concrete block. Blocks, by the way, are not airtight. They cannot be used on their own. But the crucial area here where you get differential movement is that we have taken the slab across onto the inner leaf. At this point of the build we have to take into consideration all the services coming into the building and to minimise cold bridging and the chances of mucking up the air tightness we have to bring drains services such as gas, electric and water into the building in a careful manner. And when I say careful I mean to interrupt the thermal envelope as little as possible and to have it coming into the building in positions which are easy to make airtight. So bringing the drains in under the slab rather than having exposed soil and vent pipes outside means that we are minimising thermal bridging by taking all wastewater under the slab through the, the ground as opposed to through the wall and positioning them in the slab so that we can get grommets to seal those punctures through the thermal envelope, i.e. this at the slab. There are several different products we can use, um, namely grommets for the services penetrating our air tightness barrier. We've used several different types depending on which service we're talking about, whether that's electric cables coming in from the consumer unit, um, our incoming gas main, cold water, and of course our drainage soil and vent pipes.